are cases where you want to really change the sound of an instrument or a vocal. Let's see what happens in the first verse when I want to make the vocal agree with the sound of that piano in some way, shape, or form. So uh, let's, uh, let's solo the vocal and uh, I'll t let's take a look at... That's not, the, that's not the star of the show, although that's a very interesting device. Here's what I want to show you. Now you'll also see automation working on this compressor. Again, something I like to do. Although the beginning of the song gave me a lot of latitude for a, a major sound change for the vocal, I thought it would be a little overbearing to have the whole song sound like that. Here we go. Everything in and then we'll do everything out. with me like tattoo ink in every single thought I think you tempt my worn out crooked heart in. with love and I let out. down my guard I found see the move and the distortion for good that B section I rolled it back a little bit I can hide so again this compressor has two knobs crush and crunch this is adding distortion this is the extreme compression sound and this vocal enhancer I'm grabbing the low frequencies because I've rolled some out with EQ I wanted to bring some of it back with this vocal enhancer this is the whole vocal chain quite a lot going on here again not going for a natural sound here's the whole vocal chain that uh, takes place. With me, Everything like works out. I to ink in every single thought I think you tempt. So a little bit of extreme compression for the affected sound that sometimes is desirable when you're going for something a little bit out of the ordinary. Happy mixing. See you next time.